Wait, that wait, came out now for real. No, wait, no, wait. No, no, it's okay. No. I got ten seconds with these sons of bitches. I got them. Wait, no, wait. Oh, 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 Paul Zigo has finally gotten around to making a new video, and it's always good to see new stuff from that channel. If you haven't seen his videos, you might want to check him out. His video is titled, Live and Let Live Isn't Good Enough Anymore. The subject is the marginalization and often the vilification of a subset of society from the greater whole by the greater whole. Generally, a marginalized uh, portion of society, uh, a minority, um, Paul's ego gives us two examples, homosexuals and atheists. They just want to be left the fuck alone, and they just want the exact same rights that the rest of society enjoy. That is the live and let live philosophy. Don't uh, harass us, don't, you know, fuck with us. Just let us live our life. You guys live your lives. <coughs> Don't bother us. Live and let fucking live. Paul's ego is, uh, has suggested, and he, he said that he doesn't really like that philosophy. It's not good enough anymore for him, personally. He's, his opinion, and I have to paraphrase, uh, and I could be wrong, is that not only does he, you know, he, uh, he still accepts the live and let live philosophy, you know, equal rights, just leave us alone, don't harass us. He also wants to be embraced as a, you know, in his case, as an atheist, which is a marginalized and even vilified portion of the greater society. Not only does he want to be um, equal, um, in rights, but he wants to be embraced. He wants to be engulfed, as it were, and not even considered as a portion of that society. Dude, you're on the wrong fucking planet if, you, if that's what you want. It's not going to happen. It could never happen. I suspect it is written in the DNA that a uh, subset of society will always be marginalized and will always be vilified and will always be put out there as the target, as the scapegoat for, you know, social ills and evils and whatnot. Because to marginalize and vilify and demonize a subset of society makes the larger subset or larger whole of society have a stronger social cohesion. Uh, for the larger society, it's actually kind of beneficial to sacrifice and abuse and harass and, you know, fuck up a minority, uh, however it is defined. You know, I can't really think of any subset that I might fall into, except maybe um, white hair, perhaps, I don't know. Um, I am asocial, I am antisocial, I suppose um, I'm also more than a little, uh, you know, fucked up in the head. But I don't want to be um, tolerated as who I am. I don't, sure as bloody hell, don't want to be embraced by the huge, undifferentiated, biomass whole of society and just kind of engulfed and lost in that, you know, embrace. Fuck no, it sounds kind of, you know, frightening and terrifying to me. To me, live and let live is good enough. I don't want to be accepted. I don't want to be tolerated, God damn it. Uh, which is not really what, what Paul Ziegel's uh, point is. Uh, toleration is not his point. Yeah, I think being separate and differentiated and seen as apart from the larger whole can be a good thing if the majority would just leave the minority the fuck alone, and they're not going to. Paul Ego has made a video, and welcome back, Mr. Paul Eagle. Paul, that uh, fuck it is, right? Paul Ego has... I eat a Paul's ego, eagle, eagle, no, fuck it. Ain't. So, Paul's ego has made a video, finally. Thank the, uh, fuck it. Ain't. Paul's ego has finally gotten around to make a new, make a, fuck it.
fucking A. So Paul's eagle has eagle fucking A.